Fanatec CSL Direct Drive wheelbase has finally arrived. Uh, it's uh, three weeks sooner than I expected, so it's like uh, Christmas came early. I also took a boost kit uh, that gives us three newton meters of torque more, so I wanted to get the full experience and uh, yeah, what can I say? Let's not waste any more time and let's open these boxes. Very promising. Very pro. Ooh. <laughs> it's heavy. Okay, so uh, the content is inside the box is not that complicated, so not a lot of parts, but the wheelbase is really, really heavy. So, yeah, you can. For the guy that never held a direct drive a wheelbase in his uh, hands, this is like uh, another world. It feels, yeah, it, it's not the same technology. So really looking uh, wonderful. I cannot wait to test it out. And uh, I presume this is like uh, the cable for, yeah, normal USB cable, some bolts to uh, connect this to, to your rig. Okay, is there anything else? No, that's it. So what about the boost kit? Boost kit should be like a regular adapter that gives more power, a lot of power. So this really looks pretty straightforward. So nothing very complicated. Yeah, this is for power for probably American and this is for the European market. So all together five parts, nothing too flashy, but the main focus is on this baby. It has a, a few ports here. I've seen a lot of uh, people already doing the reviews and the technical uh, part, but I will give you my personal experience coming from CSL Elite uh, wheelbase to, to CSL direct, direct Drive wheelbase. So, okay, so my goal is not to test this on uh, all the uh, Elite wheelbase. I will uh, mostly be focused on the new one. Uh, when I test the new one, I will reference myself to something that I know, and that's obviously uh, the old uh, CSL. I uh, just wanted to quickly show you how it all looks like and now let's not waste any more time. So uh, let's see the new direct drive uh, Fanatec uh, wheelbase. So uh, it was uh, really easy to mount uh, the wheelbase on uh, my Simlab GT1 uh, rig. Uh, it has a lot of uh, holes so it can be really easily adjusted uh, according to this wheelbase. It took me around a couple of minutes just to uh, uh, mount it firmly. It's very very rigid so there is no flex or anything. Uh, uh, else. Um, the next step you should do is uh, just install Fanatec uh, software uh, which will uh, give you full control over the uh, individual modules. Uh, what I really urge you to do is to install uh, the newest uh, firmware. I did it uh, firstly uh, with automated uh, option which didn't uh, turn out well so then I had to reinstall it and do it uh, one more time just uh, doing it uh, manually so each mod module uh, one after the other so we have a wheelbase motor and then the last one is the is the steering wheel itself uh, the pedals were already uh, okay so uh, the other uh, thing you should do is a uh, final up uh, software which uh, enables you to uh, to manually adjust all the uh, details about your uh, wheel in particular uh, so I had to turn on the lights on the wheel because for some reason they were not uh, turned on automatically when I entered my one of my favorite uh, sims which is Assetto Corsa Competizione that I will uh, test this wheelbase uh, uh, on.
so before I continue, I would really like to thank myself to Mr. Ermin Hamidovic and his really great video about uh, settings in detail for this CSL DD wheelbase and the Fanatec wheels in general. It was done uh, for uh, Automobilista 2, for iRacing, for Competizione and some others. I will of course leave a, a link in this video description. It really helped me to fine tune and to be able to test this uh, wheelbase properly. So the first thing I would uh, want to point out is uh, the materials are really strong and uh, everything feels very robust. So you feel the and have confidence in this uh, in this wheelbase that it's going to hold out if you put more force in into turning in the wheel, which was sometimes very delicate on CSL Elite. I uh, sometimes didn't have uh, full confidence it's going to hold, but uh, in this. Uh, uh, in this wheelbase, you really can be 100% confident that you can really abuse it and it won't uh, uh, matter. So that's uh, first, first large uh, difference when you compare the two. Uh, the other I would uh, like to point out because I never drove a DD wheel before. This is my first. Uh, so it gives you so much more uh, details and information uh, what's going on uh, on Bathurst that I'm currently driving uh, I was able to catch and save the car in uh, so many occasions uh, which I wouldn't be able to do when I was driving on the older uh, version it's so many information you know like these small details when you feel the balance of the car shifting it really comes through the wheel so that's something new and uh, if you never d uh, used uh, direct drive wheel uh, that's what is going to surprise you uh, on the first first try, believe me. Uh, again, I have to say, if you don't tweak the force feedback settings correctly, if you go for like 50% uh, force feedback and 50% uh, gain in a competition, it will feel light, it won't give you that full force uh, this uh, wheelbase uh, can offer. So I strongly recommend at least uh, for the force feedback setting that you go with the 100%, especially if you went with the uh, boost kit uh, that will give you even more uh, torque and even more uh, uh, strength, uh, that you don't uh, be shy in that department. And then uh, uh, on the other half, in game, in sim, whichever you use, you try to uh, adjust and see, uh, go step by step maybe and tweak that uh, uh, when you get used to this. Uh, uh, force that it's uh, uh, that each sim is giving you uh, to be to be able to give you more in-depth uh, review I would need to use the, this wheel uh, more uh, but uh, I didn't want to wait I was like a little kid uh, just uh, wanting to uh, share this opinion and uh, first first uh, impressions with you guys um, it really gives you so much more detail it's strong uh, it's a different experience. You cannot compare the two uh, technologies. So belt driven is also fine. It's really nice. It was really a giant leap for me when I started using uh, CSL Elite, and uh, this one is really uh, something else. So uh, to be able to uh, get this at such a price and uh, get such experience, uh, it's really fantastic. I uh, cannot. Uh, recommend more for all the people that are considering uh, of buying this wheel that you go for it uh, i'm in no way uh, sponsored by Fan fanatec or uh, or uh, in any way uh, i have incentive to say that it's really my personal opinion so uh, such a great great uh, wheel uh, or it gives life to your uh, wheel to your rim such a fantastic wheelbase Okay guys, uh, this should be it. I hope this helped. Uh, it's my personal opinion and nothing too serious, uh, not too many details. I just wanted to confirm this. Uh, this is really a big and giant leap from uh, CSL Elite uh, to, uh, let's, uh, let's say, light uh, direct drive version, which is more than enough for you to have a superb, superb, uh, completely new experience. Uh, if you like the video, please hit uh, the like button, subscribe to the channel, of course, and uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye!